Okay, cool. So now that we've got all our colours together, we now want to project this onto a single map, a single flat image that is going to wrap around the whole object and tell Mixer that we've got different groups of uh, colour-coded, different textures going on. So go into edit mode, make sure we've got everything selected, Control A, and then go UV, uh, Smart UV Project. Okay. In UV editing, we can now see that we've got quite a nicely made map. Uh, it's good that these ones are represented as bigger areas, where these are represented as smaller, because it reflects the actual size. Uh, it doesn't matter too much for the colour map, but say you were doing this to bake a material on and you want your texture resolution to look pretty good, this Smart Project is, is quite a good way to get really deep into doing this as a whole art in itself. UV unwrapping but uh, yeah a, a quick a quick um, smart project is a good quick way to do this okay so make sure we save this base image out you can go image new give it a quite high resolution 2048 doesn't too matter too much in this example but if you've got color bounds if you've got like material bounds you want quite a high resolution so that you've got a nice crisp edge between between uh, the differences in texture if that makes sense so that's why we're going fairly high res image so image new call it color id power three make it 2048 uh, you may want to play around with resolution if it's looking a little blurry on your differences between textures so we've got that now we got this in here color id tower three and next step is to go into our shading tab up here for each of these for each of these materials, we want to press Control A to add an image texture and drop down to your uh, material that you've just created. So this is what we are going to project this map onto. And so all you need to do is have this here, go down to your next material, paste it in. There's no need to hook it up to anything. If it's in there, it's going to bake into each of the material IDs we've got here. Okay, so now to uh, bake all of this in, we go to our scene tab. Make the rendering engine cycles, make sure it's cycles because it has a bake option. Down here under bake, we don't want any of these, we just want colour. That's why we've set these materials to diffuse, because it's going to be a nice, super flat, super clean colour. Set this bake type to diffuse only, and do that and hit bake. Uh, that bake can take a little while, but hopefully we've reduced the amount of time it's going to take by having a pretty low poly object for one, but also by having um, that really simple, no lighting used. This should reduce the amount of time the bake takes. Okay, nice. So now we've got a nice color ID map. You can you can check this out quickly. What I'll do is just control D this whole thing out. Hide this one. Yeah, we could delete all the materials off of this. And just save one new material and go, okay, go back to our UV editing. Make sure we save this image. We've done this bake. We need to save that to our own files. So color ID oil, oil tower one, save that image out. And yeah, you could do a quick check here by loading it in as an image texture again. Pop that in the base colour and sweet. So that's come up with all your colour IDs, but it's just one flat texture instead of a whole list of textures here. So you can tell it's all baked on nicely. Oh, you can see I've forgotten this. So um, I have to redo that bake. Let's delete that one. Do it to here. There's the coal for it. So just assign that to yellow. Go back. This is all pasted in here still. So that's fine. UV editing, that's still all there. Back here, I'll just bake that again. Sweet, so it's now redone that bake. Save that. Make sure it's overwriting the other oil tower. Uh, this out again. We go Control D and remove all these. Material, Control A for image texture. Find there. And yeah, so our missing one is now fixed. It's good. Cool, so now, we have this, and we know the colour IDs are doing what we want them to do. Um, let's export this as an FBX, so I'm going to rename that. Okay, file export, FBX, make sure selected objects only is checked. Oil tower one, splendid. So we've got that as our nicely colour ID UV unwrap model that's going to be super ready for texturing. So let's do that next. Boom. Mm -hmm.